This is Cinema Nerd, and today we're talking about my haircut. Actually, we're talking about three-point lighting. Let's get into it. When I was editing the shot sizes video, I kind of realized my lighting wasn't any great shakes. I wanted to change that, because if I'm going to tell you how to do things, I want to be doing them well myself. This video is going to be about using lights, not buying lights. You can use any light to achieve the effects I'm going to tell you about. I'm using Home Depot work lights for this, so my setup's very low cost. The first light we're going to talk about is the key light. So in most cases, a subject should have a bright side and a dark side. These sides could be very subtle, or very obvious like this. The reason you need these sides is to add depth to the image. If you don't have depth, your image will look very two-dimensional. The key light should be put on the side that you want to be the bright side, and it should be the brightest light in the setup. Now, although it's bright, you don't want it to be hard light. This will just reflect off a subject's face and make them seem shiny. Instead, you're going to want soft, natural-looking light that flows over your subject. That's where the softbox comes in. If you shine the light through this, it'll diffuse over that side of the subject. I made this one with a couple of scrap 2x1s screwed together with a sheet stapled onto it. They sell these commercially, but they can get pretty expensive. My light was much too hard in previous videos, and I got this kind of stuff. Now the next light we're going to talk about is the fill light. This one's going to be placed at a 45 degree angle or so from the camera, on the dark side of the face. It's supposed to fill in the shadows that the key light makes. The fill light's brightness should be related to how dark and dramatic you want the shot to be. If it's some kind of bright and airy commercial, the fill light's going to be bright and almost completely light the dark side of the subject. I wasn't able to dim it because it's a cheap work light. If you're in the same situation, put an old shirt over it or a thin garbage bag. It works great. Just make sure you're using an LED bulb, otherwise you could start a fire. Another way to get it darker is to move the light away. This makes the light's beam less restricted though, which is something you may not want. The third light I'm going to talk about is the backlight, aka the rim light, aka the- I don't think there are any more names for this, but it's pretty important. This is the light that's placed behind the subject on their dark side, hence backlight, and gives them a little rim around the back of their head, hence rim light. The little halo around their head separates the subject from the background. If you don't have a third light for this, it isn't the end of the world, but you might want to use a bright background just so the back of your subject's head can contrast it. For my key and fill lights, I have them with the same color bulb, but for my backlight, I made it a little bit redder just to mix it up. The last light I'm going to talk about is the accent light. Wait, wasn't this supposed to be three-point lighting? Yes, I know there's more than three lights, but this last one isn't strictly necessary, just kind of an extra. The accent light gives a little touch of interest to the background, with maybe a bit of color or a shape. You could even use an accent light to convey your topic. If you're talking about, I don't know, nature, maybe make you like green. Unless you've got a purple tree. Alright, you may have noticed, I'm just showing you these lights sitting in a chair. I'm not moving, I'm not walking around, I'm not doing a handstand. Anyway, these can still help you when you're trying to film a scene in a movie, when an actor is moving. Think about the light practically when you're setting up the shot. Maybe you have a bright window, like I did in the microfilm that I made. You could angle the side of the actor that you want to be the bright side to the window. Practical lighting is pretty hard, so I'll definitely make a video on it later down the line. That's all for today. I'll see you next time. This is Cinema Nerd.